Hi, my name is Andrew and today I'm going to give you a run through of my system status v2 page. Uh, it's an app that I built in ServiceNow. Uh, I took the original system status and customized it pretty heavily, modeled it after another page which um, I have linked in my share and made it much better. So we'll jump over to that now. Um, here you can see the new page, uh, System Status V2. Uh, the page, all the widgets, they come standard in the app, which I have uploaded to share. Um, so first up, we can see the new status history page here. Um, this widget lists all of your status, oh, all your business services, sorry, um, and separates them by category. Um, I've dropped the I think it was normally seven days down to a five day running, um, but gives you the current status, the now, what is happening per service. If you click on these, you get to a new modal, which um, shows the status of that service um, and the actual details of that current outage. Um, the details of that outage can be uh, HTML. Uh, they come standard in the system status page like the CMDB CI outage package within ServiceNow. Um, if we click into a service itself, uh, you actually get an about. That's something that I've added. Uh, it's another HTML field which you can customize to show all your stakeholders um, what the service does in case it's something like PeopleSoft Financials that you can see down here. Um, it gives you the 90 day running history, which um, obviously because this is my PDI and I built it over 90 days ago, has a current outage. I mean, nobody really wants Blackberries running anyway, do we? Um, under the history page, you can scroll down and you can see all of the outages that have been logged against a particular, time, uh, particular service in a timeline view. Um, if we go to something else, that's uh, a good demonstration of the HTML there for the About page. Um, we go find something that's had a few more outages. Here we go. You can see you've got degradations, planned outages, and outages. Um, these ones obviously don't have short descriptions. They don't have outage details. That's why they're so basic there. Um, something else that I updated was the current status over here. Again, it links you back to that modal to show you the details of the outage. And it also has the ability to log an incident for a user when they view the system status page. Um, I've already clicked these buttons, and you can see that takes you through to an incident, which is related back to the parent incident for that task. Um, something else that I built was the subscription option. Um, obviously there was one out of the box, however it was a bit clunky. You had to click into another page to get to the ability to subscribe to a service. So I've updated that to have these little icons which you can click and they uh, update real time as to whether or not you're subscribed. And you can subscribe or unsubscribe to all services using these buttons on the left with another confirmation modal. Um, takes a few seconds, does its loading, and then runs through and subscribes or unsubscribes. There we go. Now if we jump back into the platform and we have a look at our business services, you can see here if we have a look at our default view service details section here I've added. Um, this is where if we enter, what's this, SAP Enterprise Services, Service Details, and we save that. Jump back, we will have a look at SAP Enterprise Services. And that's where it populates. If you haven't populated it, that about section doesn't show up. Um, we've got capture in case there's no services recorded. And if we do have an outage, it's 
log one against that SAP Enterprise Services. There we go. Can be an outage. Uh, we'll begin that now. Um, SAP Enterprise Services has gone offline. I don't know. Obviously, we don't have any resolution notes. That's another section that I've added. We'll go begin outage. Jump back over to the status page and refresh. We'll see SAP Enterprise Services outage here. If we click into it. There's our details. Um, you can see the I'm affected to button, which uh, is there specifically. So users, when they get to this page, they can see, yep, that is something um, that affects me. They can log an incident. It relates it back to the parent ticket. Um, and then you as the um, kind of service manager, you, you know um, that person has been affected and you can send comms to that person directly to ask if it's been resolved or to let them know that it's been resolved. Um, and then if we go back to that outage, we'll sort it by begin. Here it is. No, that's the service. Sorry, we'll jump back into that outage. We'll say um, the service was restarted. End outage now. We jump back to the system status page. It's no longer in our list. If we have a look at the enterprise, there it is. You can see there was an outage, and again, if you click this one, it will show you that outage. It started and ended, and now it has the resolution notes first and the details of the outage second. But the current status is operational. All right. I think that brings it to about the end. Um, as I said, I'll just jump over to um, share. I have packaged this, I have uploaded it. I've got some ideas for new versions. I'd like to maybe um, put some pagination in in case people have a lot of services. I'd also like to think about bringing it into the new um, common service data model where business services, uh, I need to do some more reading, but whether or not they're um, application services, business services, or just services. Um, But yeah, this is it uploaded on Share. I'll be updating this video, and um, if you have any suggestions, feel free to comment. Uh, thanks a lot.